Hi everyone, today's video is for entertainment purposes only. I'm gonna be talking about all, what happened in the market today. When you're watching it, it's all the way up and then boom, straight line down, some things happen. So we're gonna talk about that and I'm gonna go over a couple of stocks out there. I'm gonna get into CCIV, where I think I see this going. I heard things about the lays and other things. At the end of the day, I felt so good about that stock, watching it drop to the point that it was down 5%, coming all the way back up to where it finished and we'll take a look at that. And then of course, I want to get into Neo and Tesla, but it's like a divergence there. It's just, it's crazy how everything is happening. If you're new to the channel, I'm Stockmo. I'm a retired educator. I taught college level and high school level investing, finance, all kinds of good stuff. And I'm also an old financial advisor slash stockbroker. So if you're looking for a channel that you just wanna get some good stuff, see what stocks I'm buying, what research I find, go ahead and join that. I have a little subscribe button down here at the OK button, uh, the bell for notifications hit all. Every time I put a video out there, you'll be notified. Now, I also have links in the description to help pay for all this good stuff. The Weeble, Weeble is doing great. They have four free stocks right now, minimum of $21, all the way up to $3,700 worth of free stock. Highly recommend them. And all you have to do is put a hundred bucks in there. Use that to buy some of the stocks I'm talking about today. I have accounts there. It's just the best thing. They also sell crypto too, which I like because I'm into the Bitcoin and Ethereum. Now, I also have a link down below to my Patreon if you want to come over and see all my portfolios. I give notifications. We bought, uh, bought some stocks today. Put that out there. So when you hear that, I always tell them right when I'm buying. So you're the first to know, which is awesome. And it helps support the channel and that's the main goal there you can come over we have a private discord that we all talk thousands of members it's a great place now today I wanted to get into some action boy when I woke up today the market was doing great I think it was up my a lot of my portfolios were doing fantastic then all of a sudden I remember looking and it was a straight line down and I thought did something happen because every time you see that it's usually something in the news that something happened there was nothing out there there was no announcements there was nothing and then the, the rumor started, you know, was this a computer glitch? What is this? What's going on that all the computers go out and they all sell at the same time and you have a massive sell off because you don't see that with no news, especially when it's just kind of going steady and then steady and boom. And it's usually a statement out there by the Fed or somebody, but there was nothing, I didn't see anything. And so you, you just never know. And that's why I always say, you just kind of have to have money on the side, have some cash and just buy into these dips and take advantage of it. So I did add plug and I did wait till midday because I told you I usually do. And I did add that in there. And we're gonna talk about that. That's for the viewer's choice. I bought plug today and I think it's up since I bought it. And we're gonna take a look and see how the portfolios are doing. And I'm gonna do a quick recap real quick of how the penny stock portfolio is doing. I'll share that with you. I'll let you know when I'm in and out. But right now I love the stocks I'm in and I have no problem with it. I might have them, I'm holding them. So if you're like, I wonder if most Mo sold. I will tell you that over at the Patreon, I do tell you exactly, you know, when I'm selling, I tell you right away. So here we go. Let's take a look at the first thing. Here is the new YouTube portfolio. We are only up 2.32%. $373, but you know what? It's on a positive side of the zero, and that's what we're looking for. So it is green, but you know, Neo came back a lot today, which hurt, and it's down to $59.99 a share. I like Neo, but we're gonna talk a little bit about that. And Plug, of course, we bought at $65 a share today. That's what we got in at, it ended at $65.72, so we made $44 already. And that's the patience I like to have, waiting until we get about midday, buying, especially after that drop. I should have bought a little bit earlier when I seen that drop, but I just was I wanted to see it settle. And after I see the selling and the comeback, then I'm comfortable and I feel like it should end higher, which it did. Now, after that, I just hold it. Now I'm gonna be holding that stock for the year and we'll see how we do. So all together, we have made $373. You can see the four stocks you have voted on. Two of them are positive, two of them are negative. The only one that's really hurting right now is CRISPR. That is down almost 5%. Like I said, I will hold these stocks for the entire 52 weeks. And at the end of 52 weeks, then I will probably liquidate and we'll restart and do a different kind of portfolio to have fun for 2022. So the next portfolio I did want to share with everyone because I know a lot of people were following along with this is that penny stock portfolio. If you check out my last video, there's a Tesla cat hair floating around. If you check out the last video, I do have what it was at, but right now you can see we are up 34.4%. I started this portfolio 
Wednesday evening at three o'clock, I bought these 10 stocks. And from last Wednesday up to Monday, we are up 32%. Can you imagine putting your money into a portfolio, four days later, you're up 32% with a well-diversified portfolio. These aren't even all in the same industry. These aren't like they're all EVs. They're just there and they're well spread out. You got some energy, you got some recycling, you got drones, you got banking or mortgages. I mean, we did well in diversifying this and I did that on purpose. And yet even with the diversified small cap portfolio, the thing's up 32.4% and it has made 12,957,000 off of a initial deposit of around 40,000, 39,991. So a little under 40K. So I'm happy with this. The returns have been spectacular and I have a list building of my next moves. I'm gonna be adding some new penny stocks this week that I'm excited about and I have some value stocks. I'm actually debating starting a value stock portfolio. Now this isn't a dividend one. There might be dividends in there, but this is what I'm thinking. I'd like to go out and find stocks that have PE ratios under, I would say 15 and under for forward 2021 ratios. And that means they're giving me their estimate of their earnings. I'm gonna do some math, figure out the forward PE for 2021, find the value stocks that I think are undervalued compared to the overall market. And that's one. That's just one thing to look at. Of course, I'm gonna look at some of their balance sheets before I, I finally pick them. But to give you an example, I have Rocket Mortgage on here. And we'll take a look at Rocket. So if we look at Rocket, you can see over the last six months, this thing has been sideways. It goes up a little bit down, up a little bit down. And so to me, this thing should be trading around, uh, looking at this around $30 a share based on the forward PE ratio of the 2021 numbers. And right now I have that PE ratio of a little over 11. In other words, this stock should be about 40% higher from where it's at now, putting it at around $31 a share to be a, a forward PE ratio of 15, which is fair value. And it's not there. So that tells me there's a lot of value in this company. Of course, the reason it's down, a lot of issues with mortgages right now, and I understand, but that's not gonna last forever. And we're gonna get through this pandemic and things are gonna go back to normal and this stock should go back to normal. I love this company. And so it's one of the leading mortgage companies out there. When you think about people out there, every time I go out there and ask my friends, where'd you refinance your mortgage? Oh, I went over the Rocket, Rocket Mortgage, did that up and all this and the other thing. It's the end of the day, they got it there. And I'd say nine out of 10 of them do it right through Rocket Mortgage. I can tell you personally, uh, the last few of them I did, I had them through there and they, they're they second to none, it's crazy. So it is what it is and it keeps moving up and I'm surprised it hasn't. But if we look at the one day, it popped 15.66% today. Finally had that pop. It takes a while for some reason. And you look in the thing, no one even knows why, it just did. It's because people out there with the big bucks are seeing the same thing I'm seeing and they're putting it in there, they're piling it in there. And you see that thing pop like this up 15% in a day because they see the value, they know in the long run, a year, two years, even three years, this stock should get back up to the 30 range and higher. And I think as they can continue to make it easier for new homeowners to buy, I'm hearing, I'm hearing things out there that they're gonna make it easier for them to buy with possible, what was it, $10,000 uh, refunded in tax credit for first time homeowners and things like that. There's these possible things out there. Go out and check on it. Don't quote me on it. I only read one article on it, but it was something they were talking about possibly passing down in DC to make it easier for people to buy homes. Well, who would benefit from that? Companies like Rocket. Where do they go get their mortgages? Rocket. That's why I like it. Boy, you got, I already liked it to begin with, but now you're talking about additional ways for people to buy homes, which is the American dream. This is it. This company should do well. So I like that. I think the stock should go over 30, 31 in the next 12 months. That would give you a 40% range. But even if it takes two years, this isn't a growth stock. This is a value stock. Even if it takes two years to get that 40%, that's a nice gain for a low risk stock in my opinion. So that's my, my new one for everybody. Just talking about a little bit. Uh, I have talked about it in many, many months ago, and I still own that stock, and I've been waiting, and now it finally popped. And I think you're gonna continue to see some upward movement, and I think more people realize that this is a good long-term buy, you're gonna see some money piling in there. Uh, the next, NEO, let's just let's take a look at NEO. I know people are nervous, I am not nervous at all. I've discussed this before. When you have pullbacks, this stock was up nicely today, 
we look at Neo, you can see it started at 64 all the way down, but then it based. You know, you have a nice base here. You can see it even kind of going up at the end. I'm not worried about it. There's still the pandemic going on. There's still lockdowns. There's still talks between countries arguing, saber rattling. And this company continues to grow, continues to expand. They're over in Norway. They're expanding over there. They have the run up in production from 150,000. Hopefully by the end of this year, up to 300,000 by the end of 2022. And I'm not gonna be shocked to see them saying we're opening up factories around the world. Who else just did that? Lucid, CCIV, uh, you know, they didn't do the merger because Lucid came out and said, hey, we're open to talks or we're had talks to go out there and open up a factory in Saudi Arabia. And that's fine. I'm okay hearing that because that's exciting because I've said that they have the capabilities of expanding in Arizona up to 400,000 vehicles a year in production. And they said they had a, a goal of getting in 2027 to up to a million vehicles by then. I think they can do it a lot quicker. I think people are vastly underestimating the growth of the EV industry. I, and for those who've been with me since I first came on YouTube back in August and, G and September, we have made a massive fortune off of these EVs. And you know, they're up 100, 200, 300%. It's because if you can have the vision of seeing where the industries are changing and which ones are going down, the oil's been getting crushed. I don't buy oil. I wanna have a, a clean energy portfolio. And you know, they, they've been getting hit bad. Is there an opportunity there? Absolutely, I used to trade in oil all the time. But then I kind of moved away from that and moved into some other things, such as the clean energy stocks and the EV stocks and some of those, and I'm seeing massive returns because I think a lot of the big investors out there are doing the same thing. And I think it's gonna be kind of a revolution in investing is to let's make the world a little cleaner, a little safer for everyone out there. So we'll see, but there's definitely opportunity. There's a lot of money to be made in these clean energy and these EVs. And if you've been with me since back in August to September, we've done very well. So moving out of that though, you know, NEO is gonna have its ups and downs. When we looked at the six months, you can see it all the way down, all the way up. And now we're kind of coming off this new peak and we gotta wait, it's gonna retest it. I feel good, we're only in January. And I put a price target of 90 to 100 on this by the end of the year. That's 12, 11 and a half months from now. So that's only 50%. And I did that back when it was, ooh, way back. And I feel good about that. So I have no, no problems with that. I think you're gonna continue to see the movement up and down, up and down, but overall, going higher, especially once we get in the second and third quarters of 2021. I think right now you're still in a lot of doom and gloom around the world with lockdowns and the, the pandemics roaring on, new strains are being found. So there's still a lot of issues out there. You got the change of the administration still. We don't know the effects of the bills are gonna try to pass and the stimulus packages, but I do see a stimulus package coming. And I do think it's gonna be between one and 1.9. I'm not gonna be surprised if they try to push the whole big one out there at 1.9, then they come out and do something similar for a business stimulus package afterwards. That's the one I think is really gonna push the stock market a lot higher, is gonna be that surprise kind of next stimulus package past the one they're talking about now that's gonna key in on the economy so they can put their stamp that we push the economy back down to lower unemployment levels. So I'm feeling pretty good about all this. The last thing I wanted to talk about today is Tesla. And just to, just to cover, Tesla obviously is working against Lucid. I talked about Lucid having that factory out there in Saudi Arabia, where's the merger at? It dropped to the point it was down 5% after it was way up in the pre-market, down 5%, I was just like, wow, this is a roller coaster. Wasn't selling. That's one of the reasons I don't do trailing stop losses because sometimes you'll get out and you don't wanna get out because then it pops right back and everybody, your, your stop loss goes off and you lost and then it goes back to, now it's up I think seven or it's up uh, seven or eight percent since then. And it's just like, I, so I watch it and I'll just, it's hard to watch sometimes because you'll see all that red and you think, oh, but then when you see it come straight down, there's no news, then you feel good because you realize it's the overall market. It should come back and it did. So, you know, I'm going to hold it. I know it's risky, but I have a, a good amount of money on that stock and I feel good about the merger going through long term. And I think once that happens, you're going to see 35 to $40 a share instantly. I hope I'm wrong. I hope it's like 45, 50, especially with the news of the expansion of the new factory. Now, Tesla. I'm feeling real good about Dan Ives. He came out and said that he sees this being 950 as a target. I think he is absolutely spot on. I can see this thing continuing higher. More and more people are investing in Tesla. The market for EVs are gonna explode, especially with unlimited tax credits here in the States. We don't know what's gonna happen with those bills. I feel good about all these. 
And I think we're gonna have a real positive run moving forward. So Tesla to me, when they said 950 to 1250, I'm not gonna argue. I like their, their predictions for the next 12 months. I think if you look at that and people are like, hey, should we buy Tesla? That's up to you. Always have a well-diversified portfolio. My, my 2020 growth portfolio over at the Patreon has 45, around 45 stocks. And my newest growth portfolio, more risky, only has 20 to 21 stocks. And that's because I'm trying to put more money in less stocks. And that's because I was trying to get a higher, a higher growth rate. And of course I have my leverage fund over there as well. I put $100,000 in triple leverage. And that has expenses, it has all kinds of crazy stuff to eat up the money. And my goal is to see what I can turn that into playing a higher risk, not options, it's less risky than options, but it's still high, pretty high risk. And so I'm having a lot of fun in my penny stock, which I share with you on here, as well as the YouTube portfolio. But if you wanna see them all together and they update live, come over and join us. There's good stuff over there. Take advantage of the four free stocks from Weeble down below. And uh, like I always say, let's get out there and make some money.